Hi YouTubers, welcome to Dave's Life Over 65. Well today I'm thinking about uh, doing a video regarding uh, starting fires in unorthodox methods. Uh, we've already covered off um, fire steel and uh, different methods of making fire, the uh, tinder and um, the uh, different uh, levels of wood that you would use from tinder to uh, kindling up to fire the actual fuel firewood and uh, today I thought we'd try some uh, rather unusual methods of starting fires one of the things I remember from a CBC uh, news report was a report of a, an apartment that was set on fire from the garbage room because somebody had taken 9 volt batteries like these and threw, the, threw them in the garbage and in the same garbage bag was some uh, steel wool like this stuff and I guess there must have been some kind of an accelerant like grease or something else anyways um, as Murphy would state when you know what can go wrong will go wrong and in this case the three elements combined and there was a fire and I'd also seen somebody on YouTube uh, in the uh, proper community who had used uh, steel wool actually uh, it was a fellow who was uh, talking about what to do after the apocalypse and how to survive in an urban environment and he showed um, he found some uh, uh, steel wool old rusty steel wool in a, in a garbage can and he took that and an old uh, 9 volt battery and was able to successfully start a fire using that and uh, it can be done uh, however your battery has to be pretty, pretty fully charged I put two of these together and um, I put them in series. If you know anything about electronics, when you put two batteries in series, it doubles the voltage, or at least the two voltage add, the two voltage uh, sum. So these are nine volt batteries, so you get around 18 volts. And uh, what I would do then is just scrape this on the uh, on the uh, steel wool, and that would start the steel wool to glow red and catch fire. But uh, it only if it only effectively caught fire once. After that, I couldn't get it to catch fire, unless I added a um, uh, some kind of tinder, and in this case, I used a piece of um, Kleenex tissue, which I uh, made the mistake of rolling into a ball. That was a bad idea, and I should have known better. Uh, but you can use steel wool, and then you have to have some kind of accelerant. Um, I tried uh, this stuff. see that anyways it's hand sanitizer it contains alcohol this doesn't say how much usually I huh, go over there cigarette company um, doesn't say what the percentage is <sighs> it's got some other stuff like vitamin E and blah 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 Anyways, uh, if you light it, it'll burn. Uh, not too hot and not too bright, but it will burn. That didn't work very well, so I tried. Uh, then I went on, and uh, this is um, methanol, or as we call it in Canuckville, methyl hydrate. Use it for fondue fuel. And then it worked great guns. Basically, uh, all I had to do was touch the steel wool like that and it would instantly burst into flame and because the alcohol uh, was inside the tissue paper inside the uh, steel wool it uh, burned fairly slowly so it would give you enough time to take some tinder and um, get that going and then you could add the kindling and then you could add the uh, the larger twigs and uh, so on until you got a nice roaring fire going um, I found that uh, without the alcohol, uh, it really wouldn't uh, wouldn't burn long enough or hot enough to really do much. Uh, I even uh, you'll see in the video I even hooked it up to a 12 volt battery, and that worked a little better, but the results were hit and miss. So as, as far as a viable uh, spark, uh, a viable um, ignition source for tinder, yes, it will work, but there's better ways. And uh, I, I f since I already had the um, hand sanitizer, I just uh, basically took some uh, tissue paper like this, and I 
like that. And I took it and I roughed it up. And basically got as much fibers to the surface. If I really wanted to do this correctly, I would use a knife and uh, make it as fuzzy fuzzy as I could. But as it was, I just sort of lightly gathered it into a ball, took some uh, hand sanitizer and put the hand sanitizer on the on the uh, Kleenex tissue and then I just struck my fire steel. I had a flame and it lasted a uh, nice hot flame about that high. Oh, you can't see that. Nice hot fl about that high above the, the tissue. Uh, I then took my uh, fat wood, which I consider to be uh, kindling, and piled it up on top of the um, the burning tissue. And the um, fat wood uh, caught fire pretty quickly. And then if I had some uh, tinder, I should say, um, if I had some kindling wood, I could have put that on top, and then we would have been away to the races. But this was just to, I've been experimenting at the tinder level and the ignition level because the that's the two areas where I have the most trouble. If you can get a flame past the tinder level, the tinder level, then you pretty much uh, you're away to the races. Now you just have to keep feeding it more kindling, and uh, when that gets nice and hot, then you can use that to dry out any wet uh, wood that you have, any wet kindling, and uh, as long as you've uh, chopped the um, or batoned the uh, wood into you know uh, manageable pieces, you can get a fire going pretty easily. So that's really wh what I was trying to do was find out how well that a, um, a source like um, steel wool would work as a as a um, uh, tinder uh, object that could be easily ignited with um, um, electricity. And you know what? It, it really didn't uh, pass muster. So um, I mean, it did work. You'll see it in the video that it, that it worked with 12 volts. The very first time I used the 9 volt battery, it worked. But um, the battery quickly discharged, and it was I could only get I only got that one out of it. So then I moved on to the uh, tissue paper and um, hand sanitizer, and that was much better. You can carry this in your pocket. In fact, I uh, I intend to be carrying this bottle, or one maybe a little smaller, in the future as a EDC EDC object. Um, it ser it'll serve two purposes. One, I can actually use it for what it was intended for, which was as a hand sanitizer, but it could be handy. All I would need is a, a piece of uh, paper tissue, paper towel, cotton batten, whatever I could get my hands on. And a uh, little dab of the um, hand sanitizer, get out the, the uh, fire steel, which is on my, S which is on my uh, EDC. I have experimented with the uh, fire steel on uh, ordinary um, uh, tissue paper. The, the results were, see I'm going, I'm really putting heavy duty hot sparks right on it and nothing's happening. It's just the hot sparks are falling into the tissue paper and going out. See now that would have caught just about anything. Nice hot white, white hot spark fell right into the tissue paper. There's another one fell right into the tissue paper and the tissue, it just shrugged it off. So without some kind of accelerant like the uh, hand sanitizer, this would not ignite no matter what I did. In fact, if I even ignited it with a um, my little butane torch, and that got it going, but it went out almost as quickly as I took away. So there's something about this. Uh, I guess if I took it apart, because it is two ply, maybe three. I'm not sure. Anyways, I guess if I took it apart into its individual components and made sure that they were very, there we go. Yeah, there's one that's really powdery. Might be able to get that going. Make sure my paper's here because if it actually ignites, I'll have to put it out. Oh, it did. It got going. Fire in the hole. Okay, so just learn something, guys. The uh, if you have two ply, um, holy crap, this is three ply. This is the cheap stuff. <laughs> Isn't that neat? Anyways, you have to break it into its components. Nice to know that this will work as a uh, tinder.
Okay, so all I did was rough it up like this. Pulled it apart. Who needs hand sanitizer? All I have to do is find a dry tissue and separate it into its uh, components. All right, now I'm going to file that away for future reference. Maybe this top some coated with something. Aha! Uh -huh. This one will not catch. Nope. So that goes in the garbage. The other one, which was the middle piece, sandwiched between the outer and the inner, I'll bet you it'll catch. Maybe not. There we go. Well, well, well. All right, so I don't know why the outer, the um, outer piece will not catch but maybe if I'd give it a little more time it would have so if you have I w I'd imagine it would work really good with with tissue paper that you've had in your pocket if I've got one in here no anyways enough of that if you have some hand sanitizer a couple of dabs on the on the Kleenex and you got yourself a really good fire starter all right what are we at here doesn't tell me the time. Well, I've been <coughs> I've been yakking for long enough. Well, I can't believe it doesn't show you the time. Anyways, that's it for uh, for my uh, explanation, and I'll uh, second do a secondary video of uh, the um, experiment with the uh, um, still wool and uh, the alcohol and all that stuff, and then. Uh, I moved on to tissue paper and this stuff, so uh, as I just proved there, that's actually optional. Um, actually, if you do add this, uh, you can then crumple it up into a tighter ball and it'll burn a lot longer that way. But uh, there we go, we got some uh, readily, uh, most people have some kind of Kleenex in their car, and uh, if you got one that's been in your pocket and it's all raggedy taggy, that's even better. So there's a, there's a source of uh, everyday carry that you can have that will be quick to uh, start a fire. And if you can find some way of uh, throwing this in, which is fat wood. By the way, I uh, also experimented with ordinary wood and wax. And you can kind of make your own fat wood just by taking uh, some kind of porous wood and uh, dipping it into uh, wax, uh, like melted wax, and then pulling it out and letting it dry. And that works just as well, if not better, than fat wood. So that's it. Take care and be safe. And if you like this video, you know, click on the um, on the thumbs up.